14 November, the US Navy's new aircraft carrier, US Gerald R. Ford, arrived in UK waters for her first visit to Europe. The 100,000-ton ship is the largest, most expensive, and arguably the most powerful warship ever built. Here we report from onboard about her first operational deployment, and now this vessel represents a step change in carrier aviation. Although externally similar, the Ford-class aircraft carriers are not just an iterative development of the preceding Nimitz class, but a transformational design. 23 separate systems incorporating new technologies have been brought together to create a vessel that will ensure the U.S. Navy maintains its already vast lead in carrier development over any of its global competitors. The decisions made by President George Billy Bush and Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld to go for such a cutting-edge option came with enormous technical and financial risk, which was perhaps underestimated at the time. The price tag for the vessel, not including aircraft, has risen to around $13.3 bin, with another $5 bin spent on supporting research and development. The new ship is the culmination of a 20-year project, and although formally commissioned in July 2017, she did not achieve initial operating capability until December 2021. The first of class of any warship is also a prototype and many of its systems can only be fully tested when installed on the ship or at sea. Nearly five years were spent on fixing emerging issues with the new systems, but as a project too big to fail, expenditure and hard work has finally paid off. The USN now has a platform that is by far the best on the planet, with a large margin of reserve space and power generation to absorb future ship and aircraft technologies. Broadly speaking, the new design also enables Ford to generate higher sustained aircraft sortie rates, making for a safer, more survivable combat vessel with reduced crewing and maintenance requirements. With a similar painful experience developing the Zumwalt class destroyers, the USN has subsequently said it will never again attempt to bring together so many new technologies together in one new warship design. Three further ships of the class are now under construction. The US John F. Kennedy, USS Enterprise, and US Doris Miller with a fifth planned. The Ford is the first new carrier design in 40 years and a statement of the USN's continued commitment to tailor aviation. Whether the USN will be able to maintain a balanced fleet while simultaneously replacing all 11 of its carriers on a one-for-one -one basis is open to debate. There are some that argue the USN should consider a smaller, affordable design to maintain numbers. The USN could probably build a CATOBR carrier based on the Queen Elizabeth class design for around dollar forbin.